At first, Chen Yun thought he was walking through a real and fake text about a thousand gold coins, until the real one licked her face and chased after her. Sister, you are my only sister. Continuing on, Chen Yun believed that he was following the traditional anti-demon script, full of righteousness, and vowed to be the strongest anti-demon master in Tianchu until he found a small white dragon. Proud and pretentious, innocent and cute, he is a big shot with a white cut and black belly, and he has played it all in one go. Do you dare to believe that he said he was the young master of the demon tribe? A demon in hand, I have it in the world. Cheng, young master of the demon clan, Yun. You are the young master of the demon tribe, so what am I? This article is light-hearted slash micro-comedy slash semi-orthodox slash anti-demon writing, with a stream of plots, hot-blooded youth, and various supporting role. There is the Tianchu continent that you are familiar with. Please enter the immortal and chivalrous texts, one crossing to ascend to immortal, one showing to ascend to immortal, the ancient saying, Wu Yen, and, Miss Kua, she has a script, for the completion of the essay. Book Group 483,149,692 Quetzales, only valid for genuine subscriptions, keywords of the novel. Changxing starts from the demon control without a pop-dot-up window, Changxing starts from the demon control with a full download of TXT, Changxing starts from the demon control with the latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 Xianqi. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Xianqi A bright moon hangs in the sky, with different joys and sorrows since ancient times. A series of footprints meander forward, varying in depth. The hundred ghosts ahead walk at night, wandering aimlessly. Up close, there was a row of people in tattered clothes, jostling shoulder to shoulder and stumbling step by step. It was all in silence and a roar of beasts sounded from the sky, frightening everyone to fall asleep and trembled three times. Flying sand splashed on his face, with a strong odor. Chen Yun sneezed repeatedly, trembling and tightly wrapped in linen clothes. The environment is harsh and the mood is irritable. She wanted to howl up to the sky. This damn crossing. This is the declining cultivation world of Tianchu continent. There are thousands of cities and schools of exorcism. This is the western frontier fortress city, surrounded by yellow sand, and a haunted place where birds do not defecate. The city gate has a large character and is named Shinchi. She steps on yellow sand, sips the west wind, and is in a refugee concentration camp outside Shinchi city. Surrounded by ruins and sand sculptures scattered everywhere, the walking people were all yellow-skinned and bony. The background is also different from her peaceful era, with singing and dancing in the city, and the demon master standing high. Demons ravage the outside of the city, with corpses scattered everywhere. Outside the city, from heaven to earth. Coincidentally, she joined in as a refugee. After living here for three years, she was tortured by the dark life. A few hours ago, she was hit on the head by someone who fought for a blackened mantu. And she was as skinny as a stick, dressed in rags, covered in blood, with a knife in her eyes, and was, conceited, all the way, standing in the front row of the queue. Wait for the city gate to open wide and receive a daily ration. The sky is bright, and the cold air intensifies. Ching Yun's hemp clothes were breathable, tight and tight, still shaking into a sieve. When the resentment reached its peak, the city gate suddenly opened. The armor of the heavy guards emerged like a fish, neatly arranged on both sides. A cold shout interrupted the refugees' commotion. Line up and receive food. The light flashed through, and three young men appeared in front of them, each with different heights, heights, fatties, and thinness. The refugees, accustomed to it and numb in expression, entered the sand castle set up outside the city gate one by one. The team advanced one by one. The sand castle has a unique shape, with an outer circle and an inner square. At the top, there is a large glass stone that attracts the sky's light and shimmers with a faint glow. There are restrictions in the sandbox, and when you enter, the spring is warm and the flowers bloom, and you are full of energy. 
people come to life immediately. The teenagers lined up one by one, each with red lips and white teeth, and a dignified appearance. Unifying a snow-white robe, the gilded silk thread outlines numerous auspicious clouds, and every move and gesture is arrogant. The future demon tamer has a brilliant life and a bright future engraved on his forehead. The refugees wrapped in burlap are in front of them, like rats in underground channels and footless insects. There is a clear distinction between light and darkness. In this bizarre world of cultivation, where demons run rampant, there are naturally strong ones who resist them. As the times require, it is the demon slayer who has become the most promising profession and is highly sought after by everyone. There are many people who want to become demon masters, but those who can truly become them are rare and far between. How to become a demon master? What a fool! Three mantu and a bottle of water. Ching Yun regained his senses and took a piece of food handed over by a vine, eagerly devouring it. I'm ashamed that the young people are beautiful and delicious, but now they are not as good as Mantu. She walked and watched as she walked. The vines are all emerald green, adorned with delicate and dripping leaves. They are a little demon, slightly enlightened and able to listen to people's words. Made to be obedient and obedient by the youth, the vines flew horizontally, and food was distributed quickly and orderly. Throwing up disobedient refugees is also quick, accurate, and ruthless. Who doesn't say a word when they see it? Monster, he is truly the best friend of humanity. The second young man can exchange goods, regardless of category. There are occasional birds and animals in the desert, and once they are obtained, they can be exchanged for food. It is unknown whether the rare variety can be exchanged for spirit stones. As for the night beast demon, meeting someone who can survive is fortunate, and no one has ever brought an exchange. Or rather, there has never been one outside the city. The most I dot catching place is the third youth. In front of me are clear water, clay, porcelain pots, and spiritual plants. Something rare in the desert. The young man had a serious face and a stiff technique, playing with two withered and yellow spirit plants. Under the demon master, there are various professions, among which the spirit plant master is particularly popular. The desert lacks water and spiritual plants, and those who can nurture and cultivate spiritual plants are all guests. Ching Yun, the original owner of this body, was also a talented spiritual planter. Why did it fall here? Speaking of it, it's both dog blood and bizarre. Before the age of eight, the original lord was still the daughter of the lord of Xianqi city, who was a young lord. Since childhood, he has been highly favored and blessed with a source of immortality. Wherever he goes, he attracts the attention of countless people and is guarded by countless guards. The lord of the city comes from a background as a demon tamer, but he cultivates this talent in his daughter. He is well aware that demon tamers often encounter danger, and spiritual cultivators are more secure and comfortable. It can be said that he has a profound plan for his children. The original owner did not disappoint his expectations. He was intelligent and diligent from a young age, familiar with several spiritual plant classics, and had already recognized most types of spiritual plants. He was personally certified by the spiritual plant master as a junior spiritual plant master. As a new star in the spiritual realm was about to rise, the situation took a sharp turn three years ago. The original owner has been exposed, and Jio occupies the magpie's nest, making him a fake owner. The city lord was seriously injured but did not recover. He was in a state of panic and fainted to death. The original owner ordered a good beating threw it out of the city gate, and almost died of illness. Kuei Lao Gui, an old refugee in the ruins, couldn't bear it and used a patch of medicine that had been stored for many years. Fortunately, he saved her a small life. A few months ago, Gui Lao Gui disappeared from the desert and disappeared without a trace. The original owner searched tirelessly without any results, once again feeling lonely and helpless. At this moment, when Ching Yun took over, she could be described as having no flesh in her body and trembling with illness. 
this beard cannot be left. The young man glanced at her and said, what do you know? Ching Yun waved his hand, then I'll go. A man behind him collided and pushed Ching Yun away, handing him his black hand. On top of it are three dry, flat, black stones. The young man indeed said, breaking a stone is useless. The man became eager and said, don't worry, this is a family heirloom orchid seed. It's very rare, but it's just that the Chinese New Year has passed a little longer. Oh, it's expired. The young man didn't lift his eyelids and waved his hand. With a flash of green shadow, the man immediately flew out of the sand castle and performed a feat of Ping Shao Luo Yen. Ching Yun patted his chest, fortunately he ran fast. There are countless refugees in the ruins, all hiding under sand pits. Occasionally, there is a half-intact roof tile, which is already a wealthy household within a radius of several miles. The man looked around the abandoned house, turned around and glared at the person behind him with an impatient and fierce expression. Child, roll off with a jerk. I followed all the way. Ching Yun sniffed and said, if guests come from afar, why don't you invite them to sit at home? Give up, I already have a wife and children. The man had his long arms wrapped around his chest, looking guarded. Ching Yun hates the cold, you are truly a universal believer. Do you want to change the seeds? I'd rather die than exchange. Ching Yun took two more steps and said, one seed, one bottle of water. What kind of scumbag do you consider my seed to be? I just swallow it raw and throw it away to feed the dog, and I don't. Add another man to. Two. Deal. Hand in the seeds and hand in the rations. The seed was chosen by Cheng Yun himself, with the most plump head, and it looked like there was still hope. Cheng Yun's residence is square in all directions, with a broken board on top of his head, which is a sand pit that can be dug with strength. The sand pit is simple, cold in winter and hot in summer. Apart from being able to shelter people from the wind, it is nothing. If it rains, seeping water buried alive is not a dream. However, rain in the desert is the dream of spring and autumn. Skillfully reaching into the ground, he pulled out a gap and broke the bowl. Explore again and take out half a bottle of water. These things are all hidden by Gue Kue. The water of the desert, the source of life, cannot be lacking in anything. I don't know how much water is buried under this sand pit, but if we delve deeper, we can still dig out one or two bottles. Kue Lao Gui's hidden water, if you dig it out, there will always be some. The original owner was once a spiritual planter, and there are still certain methods for how to revive seeds. According to the Lingji Tonglu, the seeds of Linglan flowers are pure and pure, and they are not as pure as the lotus buds, which cannot be stained at all. I drank half a bottle of water, washed the dishes with some waste water, and then watered the surface of the seeds, salvaged them, and drained them. Soak, salvage, and then plant. There is no soil here, all Ching Yun can do is hydroponics. The control of temperature, humidity, and time is indispensable. Not everyone can become a spiritual cultivator. Cultivating spiritual plants requires talent. Some people have extraordinary talents and can dye whatever they plant, making them a walking spiritual plant killer. They are given nicknames such as Flower Thousand Bones and Chi Hundred Grasses. Avoid these types of people, and the remaining effort will be enough. A few hours later, the water in the bowl suddenly boiled and evaporated in an instant. Ching Yun was puzzled, it was strange. Upon closer inspection, the seed coat peeled off and turned from black to crimson. Wow, this seed has two faces. At this moment, the color is beautiful, like pearls and treasures. The seed is actually a long extinct spiritual blessing grass in the Ling Ji Tong Lu. There is a legend about this spiritual plant. The king rides on the wood, and the blessing grass grows in the temple. Meaning auspiciousness, it has always been revered as a treasure by the spiritual cultivators of Zhongzhou. This is a big leak. 
but the spirit grass absorbs the spiritual energy of the temple and grows under harsh conditions, so it may not be able to grow at this moment. At that time, the temperature had risen and it was almost noon. Chin Yun simply lay flat. Quickly, the body loses a large amount of water, making it difficult to breathe and feeling that every minute and second is a torment. There is a reason why Xianqi City only distributes food in the early morning. Otherwise, the human evaporation technique will be performed every minute. Lie flat and be more compatible with refugees. If anyone wants to say that this is a waste of life and time, then they must say. You are noble, you are remarkable. So, life endured until night fell. Ching Yun woke up with a delicate and soft body, shaped like noodles. No, this is not noodles. Pop pop. The thick and sturdy roots are waving in the air, with a snow dot white body. The wind spreads like a blade, and the sand and stones in the sand pit collapse in an instant. The pitch black sky, vast sand dunes, oh, shattered wooden boards, that's her home. Her home. It's gone. A demon is coming. A demon is coming. A mournful scream echoed around the sand pit. Is there a demon? Xiao Ming was in a hurry, and Ching Yun immediately ran away, swaying the green branches and leaves in the wind like a shadow. Countless people fled in a panic in front of them, and those who were on the edge were all stunned and crying loudly. Ching Yun runs faster. This demon may not have recognized her, and no matter how hard it is to shake it off. Roots gallop on the flat ground, flying sand and stones, smoke and dust rolling. Ching Yun saw in a daze his clothes, broken and messy, hanging on the branches swaying. The world is going downhill and morality is declining. Is this something that a demon can do? She was furious and suddenly turned around. Turn back, turn back, turn back again. Roots, stems, and leaves sway slightly, like shadows accompanying each other. Where is the demon? Feeling greatly shocked, Ching Yun lowered her head and felt disheveled in the wind. What about her body? Book friends, long time no see, I miss you very much. Looking forward to starting a new story together. This article has a familiar background in the Tianchu continent. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Fulling You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Fulling Ching Yun pondered all night, feeling particularly confused. How can a well-cultivated spiritual plant cultivate itself? The reason why Lingfu grass is a treasure in the realm of spiritual cultivation is due to the love of spiritual cultivators, because it is a kind of auspicious grass. When encountering auspiciousness, it brings abundant luck. She's fine, she just exploded. You can tell me, the newcomer didn't even have time to hide the demon, so she became a demon directly. How to break it? Voluntary surrender. Honesty is lenient, resistance is strict. No, no, Ching Yun shook his head. On the land of Tianchu, demons roam rampant, and wherever they go, they become purgators. As the demon warden once said, anyone who encounters a demon should avoid it, catch it, guard it, and execute it. In summary, there is no demon that sways freely in the sunlight. In Ching Yun's memory, he heard that there were several demon cities causing trouble. There is no better hiding in the city than the chrysanthemum lin flower demon. For decades, he has carefully absorbed the essence of heaven and earth, and once it blooms, it will fragrance for several miles. Attracting a child to be ruthless and destroy flowers, half a child, it is precisely because people dislike dogs and abandon them. The flower demon was furious and pricked his hand with blood, causing the child to burst into tears and roll around, attracting his mother, father, and relatives. After years of concealing demonic energy, with a burst of dew, the demon master's long sword drove him straight, and within two days he was refined into a demon spirit, thrown into the locked demon tower, howling night and night, never to be seen again. There are also long worm demons that have been sleeping underground for hundreds of years, encountering experienced cave enthusiasts and piercing through low dot key protective colors. 
Please train the demon demon master with demon 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 The fate of the low dot level demon is nothing more than that. As for the intelligence and physique of the transforming demon clan, they are no different from the human clan. It is said that they are cunning and cunning, and are better at hiding. Once they encounter each other, both sides will often see bloody scenes. Given the current situation, it would be better for her to surrender than bury herself on the spot. The grass on the grave will grow faster next year. Dawn breaks in the sky, and the morning light is faint. A ray of sunshine shines on me, warm and radiant. After lying in the sand for half a day, Ching Yun's mood gradually calmed down. As the saying goes, it's better to live than to die. If she becomes a demon, it's better than to die again. It's not necessarily enjoyable to have bad reviews of demonic tendencies these days. If a person had run such a long distance in the desert, they would have died of thirst even if they were not tired. They could have become a demon, with abundant physical strength and no fatigue. As for the disharmony of limbs, the five senses have not settled, and you can no longer talk to people. You have become a demon, still care about these small details. After comforting himself and trying to immerse himself in the beautiful future of becoming a demon, Chen Yin tearfully accepted the fact of becoming a demon. With such a moment of relief, Chen Yun suddenly heard a dragon chant in a daze. The sound of the dragon is profound, and people follow it. Pushing away the dense mist, one can see the mountains and deep valleys. At the end of the valley is a cold pool, with clear water and no waves or waves on the surface. Strolling through it, my fatigue dissipated. Walking to the edge of the pond, her appearance was reflected in the water, hazy and indistinct. Upon another glance, only the golden light characters remained. What kind of pond is the standing moon? The characters on the right disappeared too quickly and I couldn't see them clearly. Suddenly, the pond water rippled, and a bubble slowly emerged and landed in front of him. Ching Yun reached out to take it, and inside the bubble was a pocket-sized version of Lingfu grass. A row of golden characters appeared on the surface of the pond. Wood-based lucky grass, pure to pure. Demons are lurking and their hidden energy is visible. Wow is this shitty travel welfare and the usage instructions for Lingfu grass. Ching Yun had a clear mind and sat up from the sand. A piece of Lingfu grass, wrap around your hand. Cover the protruding bone joints to form a wristband. Excited heart, trembling hands, Ching Yun touched his face and hands and feet. Everyone's back, everyone's back. I mean, a nightmare all night, returning as a teenager. The city gate is wide open, bustling with activity. Oh, why are there more female disciples? Didn't you hear that? This morning, Master Jean returned to the city and picked up a half-year-old child. He looked pitiful and stayed at the sand castle to be a little maid. This is really the smoke coming from my ancestors' graves. I see the words pity engraved on my face, why haven't I encountered such a good thing? Hey, reincarnation in the next life will shine brightly. Ching Yun, who was smoking from his ancestral tomb, held a water vessel and poured water into the water bottle one by one. Not fast enough, just enough. The night before yesterday, a demon caused a commotion in the ruins and fled in panic, neither harming anyone nor causing any harm to life. What a big deal. The demon master in the city is too lazy to follow after hearing the news. But I didn't want a female demon tamer surnamed Jean Mingzhua, who was honest and straightforward, to follow her all night. The demon did not catch up and found Ching Yun. It is said that Ching Yun was kidnapped and abandoned by the grass demon, but she was unlucky and destined. Without giving up, he led Ching Yun to search in the desert for a day and a night. If it weren't for receiving a message that there was an urgent matter in the city, she would have planned to continue searching. When he returned, he casually threw Ching Yun in the sand castle and gave a few words of advice to one of the young men. 
Afterwards, Chen Yun became a little maid in the sandbox, a coveted treasure in the eyes of the refugees. Chen Yun touched his new white robe, grateful that he had met a woman, otherwise the scene at that time well, it's awkward. Two teenagers were whispering on the side. Does Master Jean want to take in disciples again? I just collected it a while ago, why did I have to collect it again? The one I just received is dead. Ah. Are you dead again? Going out to search for demons, he fell victim to witchcraft and died suddenly. Jin Zhuo can also be considered as the third-rank demon warden in Xianqi City, who has been well dot known in recent years. When she was young, the whole family was attacked by demons, and no one survived except for her. Since then, she has vowed to kill all the demons in the world. After growing up, she became a demon warden as she wished, never giving in when she saw or killed demons. Bringing back Ching Yun, there is pity for her weakness and lack of support. I also want to keep her as bait, cast long lines, and catch grass monsters. Ching Yun has a clear understanding. However, no matter how unlucky she is, she cannot be so unlucky as to repeatedly encounter the same demon. Moreover, Lingfu grass is now hidden by her. As long as she does not transform, she will find no such demon. It can only be said that Jin Zhuo's determination to kill the demon made her not want to miss any chance. No matter what Jin Zhuo thinks, Cheng Yun now needs to be honest and low dot key, but also seize the opportunity. Strive to become a serf and sing as soon as possible. Who is that? A young man waved at her. Cheng Yun. Okay, come over here. This young man's name is Tang He, and the withered spirit plant she saw a few days ago in front of her. You said that day, you can't keep the roots, which is exactly what my senior brother said. Do you understand this? Tang He was a bit hesitant, probably embarrassed, and spoke very softly. Ching Yun didn't care and nodded, I understand a little. Then come and help me in the future. Do you give me money? No. Mantu is full. That's good too. After several exchanges, Ching Yun learned that all three teenagers are 15 years old this year. Except for Tang He, the one who distributes rations is called Chiu Feng, with a straightforward personality. Let's talk about it. Another Lin Jialua is smooth and has the best popularity. Running a stall in the neighborhood, specializing in handling the items received in the sandbox, dividing the accounts between the spirit stones and the sect. All three of them entered the Immortal Qi sect last year and are disciples from outside. They are just one step away from becoming the Demon Master. To become a Demon Slayer, besides talent, one also needs to work hard, so the three of them have to return to the city after finishing their busy work in the early morning. The new pit is shallow, and one can enter the old pit. Completing the Immortal and Heroic Essay, A Crossing of Immortals, End of this Chapter Chapter 3 Sunny Days You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Sunny Days As for Ching Yun, he can stay in Xiaobao for the rest of the time. This is really like falling asleep and encountering a pillow, which perfectly suits Ching Yun's wishes. Wood-based lucky grass, pure to pure. Demons are lurking and their hidden energy is visible. Ching Yun silently recited the mnemonic, and the spiritual blessing grass on his wrist stretched out its branches and swayed his figure. Yun was on guard during the return journey and didn't let it get on his body. He just watched from a distance. Lingfu grass waved its branches and twisted back and forth. Shy and charming, let it all play like a grass demon. After spending half a day, Cheng Yun finally understood the role of Lingfu grass. The key was to conceal her aura and reveal it, which could help her hide it when she became a demon and also make those demons and monsters appear. In short, it is very useful. Yin Qi was clear to her. If it weren't for this, the demon master Jin Zhuo would not have been able to find her only through rough directions, taking a long time. As for appearance. Lingfu grass grasped the essence, and the flower branches trembled slightly. A leaf floated out, 
covering Qin Yun's eyes. Open your eyes again, your vision will change. Monsters have their own charm, and people have their own popularity. The two cannot be confused. The qi of a person is also yang qi, and the whole body is orange-yellow. Demons are eerie and mostly green in color. Qin Yun arrived at the gate of the sandbox and looked around, revealing scattered light spots throughout the ruins. Most of them are orange, and those refugees are lying flat in the daytime at this time. The blue color is sparse, but it also hides within. Qing Yun touched his forehead in cold sweat. The city gate is within reach, and there are countless demon guards inside. These demons can be said to be bold and skilled, fully understanding that the most dangerous place is the safest place. Qing Yun actually really wants to know what these demons look like. However, considering that she can treat demons as her own kind, demons may not necessarily be the same, so it's better not to take risks with herself. In a blink of time, it will take several days. Qing Yun practiced repeatedly. I am proficient in using Lingfu grass and can draw inferences from others, transforming the leaves into invisible ones, sticking them to the eyes, and avoiding people's ears and eyes. To avoid being mocked by Tangha for sticking a leaf and creating a turtle-like appearance. However, the body is still very weak and the frequency of use is limited. There are hundreds or thousands of refugees traveling between the sandbars. Most of them used hemp cloth to block the wind and sand, so Cheng Yun was not very familiar with it. But there was a woman, and Cheng Yun's memory is still vivid. The woman has a slender figure and is hesitant in her words and actions. Like most refugees, she always appears in the early hours of the morning to collect rations. The first thing Cheng Yun noticed was her outstretched hand, which was fair-skinned, smooth and delicate, and could be called a delicate jade hand, which was extremely rare in the ruins. In addition, she always holds a baby in her arms and has been sleeping soundly during several visits to the sandbox, not crying or making noise, very quiet. Since knowing there were demons in the ruins, Chen Yun felt like a demon to everyone. This mother and son are her main suspects. So she secretly used Lingfu grass to check, but saw that although the orange light on the woman's body was shallow, there was still some. That baby, however, has no color at all. Ah, this what is the situation again? It's a dead baby. Tang Ha thought Ching Yun was interested in the child in the woman's arms. He came a long time and knew more. Ching Yun was surprised. Corpses will rot and have a strong odor that cannot be concealed by ordinary means. When the woman passed by them, there was only a faint sour smell on the linen cloth, and no putrid smell. How long did that child die? Ching Yun thought of some possibility. I wasn't there when I came. Tang Ha didn't pay much attention to the specific duration. Tang Ha only took over the task at the city gate last year, which means that this child has been dead for at least a year. The wind blew by, and Chen Yun's spine became cold. This world is really difficult. The woman received food and did not linger, but collided head dot on with someone while leaving the sandbox. As soon as she saw the visitor, the woman knelt down on the ground. The immortal spared his life. Everyone looked over and knelt down one after another. The person who came here is the demon master, Jin Zhuo. Jin Zhuo is a woman who looks very serious, with a straight posture and a confident demeanor. She didn't blame, casually waved her sleeve to pass the time, and walked towards the inside. Just as she was about to speak, she suddenly turned back. Stop. The refugees didn't know who she was talking about, so they all knelt down. However, seeing the woman, they seemed to feel something and didn't turn their heads, so they ran away. Jin Zhuo took an arrow step and left the sand castle. Three teenagers, along with Cheng Yun, followed closely behind. Just out of the sandbox, I saw that Jin Zhuo was hundreds of meters away. Jin Zhuo's body is a cultivation of the golden elixir, and his amazing body method is normal. Surprisingly, the woman changed her previous timidity and ghostly figure, and was even faster than Jin Zhuo. 
Ching Yunxin said that she is not a demon, but also a capable person. The two of them blinked and disappeared without a trace. Don't, don't chase. Tang He gasped and waved his hand. A few people stopped when they heard the words. At that time, the sky was bright and the temperature in the sand was rising. They were all sweating profusely. Although they were curious, they had no choice but to give up at this moment. Even the demon master couldn't catch up, and their past efforts were in vain. Half an hour later. On the horizon where Huangsha borders heaven and earth, heat waves roll and black spots gradually enlarge. As they approached, they saw the demon warden Jin Zhuo holding a long sword with an angry expression on his face. Behind her, followed by a person. His expression was mournful and anxious. It's the woman from before. At that time, her arms were empty and the baby was nowhere to be found. After this incident, Jin Zhuo had no spare time to meet others and went straight back to the city with the woman. The next day, Tang He brought news. That woman, who turned out to be Jin Zhuo's third disciple, went missing four years ago after going out for training. She was once believed to be jealous of her beauty and died outside. The missing person returned, and Jin Zhuo became angry instead of happy. He got angry and locked her up. As for why? There are various opinions. Some people say that Jin Zhuo treated his disciple too harshly, and the disciple couldn't bear to feign death to escape. Some people also say that the disciple did something wrong to Jin Zhuo, had no face, and secretly hid. Qin Yun thought of the child who had died for a long time and felt that the truth of the matter was far from that. Another piece of good news, you guess. Tang He pretended to be mysterious, leading Qin Yun to ask questions. Qin Yun man casually said, Can I enter the city now? Tang He was shocked. How do you know? Qin Yun was also a wild guess. Tang He frowned and looked at her, clearly related to her. I think it was yesterday when Jin Zhuo came to Sandcastle, it was for her, but there was a delay. Qing Yun touched his wrist and had a premonition that nothing was good. There is no excuse not to go, then there should be a solution. Regarding the details of that grass demon, whether to say it or not, one should ask three questions without knowing. The others can only be stopped by soldiers. Qing Yun entered the city with the Tang River and his entourage, walking on horseback and admiring the flowers. After entering Jin Zhuo's residence, he didn't even see anyone, so he was arranged to a sandbox and saw one person. This person is exactly the woman I saw before, Su Qing Tian, the third disciple of Jin Zhuo. What Qing Yun is responsible for is to accompany her step by step, actually just looking at her. Let her watch Su Qing Tian. She felt that there was something wrong with Jin Zhuo. The body movements exhibited by Su Qing Tian that day were visible to everyone, and this was by no means an ordinary woman. As expected, Jin Zhuo's disciple was also a demon master. As a refugee, she was sent to watch over the demon master. Su Qing Tian saw her, but a smile appeared on her face. You come over. Cheng Yun's turtle moved forward quickly and was embraced by Su Qing Tian, causing her limbs to stiffen and her whole body to become hairy. Su Qing Tian gently caressed her back and softly comforted her. Don't be afraid. At your age, I can already resist demons. Sister, the demon is not scary, what I'm afraid of is you. Cheng Yun. Su Qing Tian, retreat, retreat. The completion of the Xianxia essay, Yi Zhao Ascending to Immortal, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Freedom You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Freedom Su Qing Tian became famous at a young age and was the disciple that Jin Zhuo valued the most. At a young age, she became a second-grade demon tamer, and her cultivation almost caught up with her master. There are not hundreds but thousands of demons she has killed. Four years ago, she was sent by the Xinxi sect to participate in the Ten Cities Demon Control Conference and won the first place. A moment of glory is unparalleled. In the blink of an eye, she disappeared without a trace. 
To investigate the reason, she didn't say it, and Chen Yun didn't ask either. Secrets, the more you know Chen Yun settled down in Shabao. Just next door to Su Qing Tian, Yi Ying arranged it, which was no different from her. To outsiders, this must be another matter of ancestral graves emitting smoke. In Chen Yun's view, this is clearly prison one and prison two. What others lose is opportunity, what she loses is freedom. In the quiet of the night, after a hundred twists and turns, she appeared again by the edge of Liyue Lake. The water surface was calm, and Chen Yun's heart was completely calm. Oh, is there still space for travel these days? What a cliché. Eh? The book friends next door don't like reading anymore. She would prefer it to be a system, with some nagging and arguing with her. She has already thought of the script, which is currently the most popular one. What are, the girl's counterattack leads pig feet no way out, the white moonlight resurrection. Life and death, and rebirth. Still the king of scrolls. She can handle these scripts very well. It's better than her now having a black eye. Catching her blind. The Lingfu grass disappeared from the wrist, but at a distance of a hundred meters from the pond, it was found swaying in the wind. The pond water today is somewhat turbid, vaguely reflecting something. Ching Yun looked up at the sky, empty as ever. Lingfu grass sways, leaves covering the eyes, and the image of the pond surface is immediately clear. TSK, what a big demon. A monster resembling a pump, resembling a rhinoceros, resembling a unicorn, named Jiaoduan. Last time, Lingfu grass finally emerged from here. Shouldn't this demon also be about to emerge? Ching Yun took two steps back and waited for a moment. The surface of the pond was clear, and the shadow at the corner disappeared. It's tomorrow. Ching Yun was awakened by a burst of singing. It can't be said to be noisy, this song is melodious and melodious. Listening carefully feels like a nursery rhyme, with no music, only melody. Outside the window, Su Ching Tian held a baby in his hands, with a soft face and a smile in his eyes. He hummed, sang, and swayed softly. Without wind, Cheng Yun felt cold. Su Ching Tian's arms were empty, but he seemed to be completely unaware. Cheng Yun had reason to suspect that what Su Ching Tian saw was not what she could see. Cheng Yun didn't disturb her and walked around the open space to the door of Shabao. There is Cheng Yun's daily ration, which is still three mantu and a bottle of water. Are the people here no longer pursuing good food? Cheng Yun chews mantu and turns around, almost choking. A big face was within reach, taking a step back, it was Su Qin Tian. The initiator had a gloomy face and drank coquettishly in a deep voice. You go to hell. With a palm strike, Cheng Yun flew backwards and collided with the restriction behind him, bouncing back to the ground. Puff. A mouthful of mantu residue mixed with blood spurted out. You're crazy. Cheng Yun has a dull chest pain and cannot stand up. Su Qing Tian attacked again, but someone rushed into the sandbox and fought with her. The two figures overlap, and they use all their means. Cheng Yun ignored everything else and dragged his injured body back to his room. Outside, Su Qing's appearance was as crazy as a demon, with fierce attacks. The person from the opposite side had some concerns and gradually retreated. Just as someone was about to be injured, they gave a cold shout. Sunny. See who I am clearly. Su Qing Tian was stunned, with a focus in her eyes. Seeing that the person coming was her beloved master, she knelt down and wept bitterly. Jin Zhuo was angry and said, catching eagles all day and being pecked in the eye by them, you still have the face to cry. Su Qing Tian choked up and said, Master, I realized my mistake. As my teacher once said, your demonic nature is difficult to tame. Even when the lord of the city is at his peak, he may not be able to make it obedient and obedient. If it stays by your side, it will have a purpose. Ah Duan has never harmed my heart. Even to this day, you still speak for it. 
Jin Shua hated the iron for not becoming steel and angrily slapped it. Su Qingtian's face was crooked and immediately swollen. From now on, you stay honest with me. Before I understand, you are not allowed to go anywhere. Jin Shua shook his sleeves and left. A dog bites a dog with a mouthful of fur. Ching Yunbai watched a scene, and she couldn't be happy at all. Su Qing Tian is unpredictable, like a mad dog. Jin Shua didn't feel much better either. She hurriedly arrived and left in anger, unable to remember that this little refugee had suffered an unwarranted disaster. If it weren't for her covering her chest with Lingfu grass at the critical moment, with this palm, there would have been an additional corpse in the sandbox. In this world, human life is truly like grass and humble like dust. Ching Yun needs to get rid of this pair of top-dot-notch masters and disciples as soon as possible. Su Qingtian's mental state is really unstable. He injured Ching Yun and forgot everything in the blink of an eye. It was gentle pulling and caressing her again, telling her about the colorful world outside the desert. The Tianchu continent is divided into five domains, namely Dongling, Nanjing, Shiji, Beiyuan, and Zhongzhou. Leaving aside other places, let's just say that this western pole is not entirely covered in yellow sand. The more you go southeast, the more oases there are. There are over a hundred demon controlling sects in the west pole, and the immortal Qi sect ranks last. Su Qing Tian has been practicing for many years, but he has only seen the latest dozens of sections. He participated in a large dot scale demon competition held in ten cities and won the first place. Originally with an infinite future, he encountered a huge change due to encountering a big demon. This great demon can transform into a burly and handsome man, with the pseudonym Duanqing. Su Qing Tian sank at a glance. It is said that the great demon also fell in love with her at first sight and was willing to stay by her side for her to drive. The demon warden of Tian Chu also emphasizes clear hierarchy. The level of a demon that can resist is determined by its level. Duanqing has not been ranked on the demon control platform but according to her master Jin Zhuo's speculation, she is at least above the fifth level. Five levels, one level higher than the Lord's dominant flower demon. The fifth level demon is not something that Su Qing Tian can control. Forcefully controlling it will inevitably lead to backlash, so staying by her side is always a free body. One person, one demon, accompanied by experience, wind, flowers, snow, and moon, with endless affection. Until Jin Zhuo learned about it, she immediately notified the sect and appointed a high dot level demon master to kill Duan Qing. Su Qing Tian couldn't bear it. In the blink of an eye, he betrayed his sect and flew away with Duan Qing. At this point, the matter has also come to an end. Unexpectedly, Su Qing Tian returned and became insane and mentally unstable. This is a typical story of love brain combined with human demon love. Ching Yun was not aware of the severity, so he kept a respectful distance. For several days in a row, Su Qing Tian didn't get sick again, and treated her as if she had been separated from her sisters for many years. But Ching Yun was cautious and perfunctory in responding. Finally, she met the demon master Jin Zhuo again. Jin Shangxin. Ching Yun was timid and saluted, like a timid refugee. How many days have you been here? Four, five, six, eight days ago, Ching Yun replied, tugging his fingers. Jin Zhuo nodded invisibly and pointed to a token on the table. Take this item to the ruins and find a person named Kue Lao Gui. Kue Lao Gui. My master. Is it a coincidence that Ching Yun looked up? He is. Jin Zhuo interrupted her and said, you don't have to worry about who he is. After handing over this item, you can leave on your own. If we can't find it, what if that person isn't in the ruins? Then wait. Let me wait for him. Meanwhile, a storage bag was thrown in front of Cheng Yun. Did she regain her freedom and receive a commission? Happiness came too quickly and Cheng Yun was afraid that Jin Zhuo would turn back, so he hurriedly left the city. 
Sure enough, there were a hundred spirit stones in the storage bag, which was enough for her to freely enter and exit the city in the future. As for Kue Lao Gue, no one knows where his home is better than her. Just arrived at the place and saw a flat sandy area. Ching Yun only then remembered that Kue Lao Gue's home, it's already gone. Su Ching Tian. Little sister, come to my sister's bowl quickly. Ching Yun. Retreat, retreat. Get up and finish the ancient Chinese poem, Wu Yen. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Assessment You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Assessment Ching Yun dug for half a day before re-digging the sand pit in the original place before dawn. The refugees around are restless. Earlier, Ching Yun worked as a maid in Shabao and followed the young man into the city, attracting many people's attention. At present, she is alone, carrying a huge fortune, and is like a walking delicacy. Who wouldn't want to take a bite when they see her? Ching Yun dug a pit, patted his palm clean, and spoke calmly. Don't waste time, let's go together. As soon as the words fell, refugees swarmed around. At that time, refugees were like hungry wolves grabbing food, and no one was willing to fall behind. They almost immediately surrounded Cheng Yun and fought to get the upper hand. This scene has been experienced multiple times in my memory, and the last time I was hit on the forehead, I also lost my life. This time, when everyone rushed forward, green shadows flickered around Cheng Yun's body, and the grass whip whipped out. The refugees all flew backwards and landed heavily. A spiritual blessing grass sways around Cheng Yun in the wind. Ching Yun stood in the same place, his clothes fluttering, giving off a sense of, I am no longer the person I used to be. Monster. Monster. Unlike the last time they saw the demon, the refugees quickly realized that the demon was following Ching Yun Yin's advice. They immediately fell to their knees with a crash. Master, spare your life. Master, spare your life. In Tian Chu, the only one who can make demons obedient is the demon master. From now on, Cheng Yun will also consider himself a demon tamer. Cheng Yun's great display of divine power effect is significant. A hundred meters away, without any neighbors. I can't even hear the nearby snoring while sleeping. But the next day when she went to Sandcastle, she felt embarrassed. You are already a demon slayer, can you compete with refugees for food? Chiu Fengyi said in a serious tone. Cheng Yunxin said, she can. Your face may not be your face, but you cannot lose the face of the demon master. After saying these words, Chiu Feng felt like he was shining all over. The loyal soul of the demon master is burning. Cheng Yun touched his face, can his head and face be used as food this year? Other people's faces may be fine, but Cheng Yun's current face is definitely not. After three years of exposure to the wind and sun, I couldn't eat enough, and I couldn't look at those who were black and thin for a long time. A few days ago, everyone had a familiar expression, but Chiu Feng had a straightforward personality and put on an attitude of even if you talk nonsense today, I can't give you food. What else can Cheng Yun do? Cold Salad Lin Jialua leaned over and said, Cheng Yun, at least we can work together for a few days. You have a connection, why didn't you tell me earlier? I have a way, why don't I know? Let's talk about it, Cheng Yun said. Lin Jialua immediately began to talk. But it turned out that in Tian Chu, to become a demon master, one had to go through the rating of the demon hall and obtain a demon level token. The legendary saying goes, work with a certificate. Before the rating of the Yuyao Hall, there must also be a written test. The exam focused on common sense questions such as the rules of demon control and the collection of 10,000 demons in Tianchu. That is to say, the starting point of the demon master is not high, but at least you cannot be illiterate. If he were illiterate, he wouldn't be able to become a demon tamer. Of course it is possible, but mainstream demon masters all have formations, and you don't have them. Can you say you are a demon master? 
Okay, you say yes, but people don't recognize you. If you say you love to be alone and admire yourself, then you have to walk a single wooden bridge, and no one will stop you. But don't think about participating in the large dot scale demon control competitions and exchange activities held by many demon control sects in Tianchu. You won't win mainstream awards. Speaking of which, the assessment is also simple. Wherever there is a city, there is a Yuyao Hall. Any Yuyao Hall can register and pay a registration fee of 10 spirit stones. Just participate in the assessment at the beginning of each month. There is no limit to the number of assessments, so many people are old at learning and getting tested. As long as you have a spirit stone, you can take any exam you want. After talking for a while, I learned that Ching Yun is a non-mainstream person. Lin Jialua lost a sentence. Take the exam early while you're young. Ching Yun never expected that he would have traveled through the ages and could not escape the imperial examination. Underscore, Yuyao Hall, fame should be done early, as spirit stones are indispensable, there is nothing difficult in the world, only those who have a heart fear it there is nothing that cannot be solved by taking the exam once. If there is, then take the exam again everyone has come, let's take the exam once countless banners of famous quotes and admonitions hang in the demon hall, making people feel passionate and passionate. On one side of the hall, a group of reserve-level demon guards followed a beautiful demon guard shouting slogans. Our goal for today is. No retakes. Our slogan today is. Ten years to sharpen a sword, today to test its sharpness. The law of heaven rewards diligence, and man will conquer heaven. Thirty years. Ching Yun didn't even remember how to pay the spirit stone, so he was warmly sent out by the waiter inside. Sir, welcome to come again next time. Ching Yun looked up at the solemn plaque of the Yuyao Hall, and a cold sweat broke out. The Yuyao Hall is so terrifying. Returning to the sand pit, Ching Yun took out several thick books from the storage bag. There are everything from The Rules of Demon Control to The Collection of 10,000 Demons in Tianchu. Counting the days, today is already 15. Ching Yun was supposed to report for the assessment at the beginning of next month, but at that time his mind was buzzing and he had already applied for a good name without paying attention. What else can we do? Hold up the Buddha's feet temporarily. At least after participating in the 3.year simulated 5.year college entrance examination, Ching Yun opened his book and started to study. Once a person becomes serious, everything around them becomes unimportant. Ching Yun gradually entered this state of selflessness. It's not hot anymore, people are not feeling stuffy anymore, their stomachs, you have to be hungry. If you are hungry, you can eat mantu bought from the city. If you are thirsty, you can drink water. In short, the days passed by with a swish. On this day, the wooden board above was knocked. Ching Yun held his breath for a moment and calmly opened the wooden board. Sure enough, it's Tangha. I think so. If it were Kuei Lao Gue, the door would kick away with just one kick. The most polite person she currently knows is Tangha. Ching Yun poked his head out like a groundhog. Why did you come on such a hot day? Tang He held an umbrella in hand and moved it over. The cool air immediately enveloped the head. What a magical device, sun and rain protection air conditioning for walking, a must-have item for going out and traveling. Ching Yun envies it. I also want to have one right away, standing in the sand pit. Just when Tang He said its price, Ching Yun gave up. One hundred spirit stones, why not go grab them? Is the price of Xianqi City calculated by hundreds? Tang River was invited into the sand pit, and Tang River was peculiar. Although the sparrow is small, it has all five internal organs. Ching Yun looks around. There is no bed, no quilt, no table, no chair, a pile of books on the left, and a plate of mantu on the right. Tang He is someone who truly knows how to speak. Why are you looking for me? Tang He didn't answer and stared at the book, asking, Why don't you buy a jade slip? 
Ching Yun seemed to hear why not eat minced meat. The jade slips are indeed convenient, but each one is on top of the ten spiritual stones, and the total number of them is 150. And the books are second dot hand, you have to return them after reading them, but the packaging price is ten spirit stones. She naturally chooses books, how can she read them? Because of poverty. Tang He. Dot. Ching Yun. Today our goal is to recommend tickets. Cough cough, this is the last one. It concludes the ancient saying, Miss Guo Gong she has a script, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Uncle, are you polite? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Uncle, are you polite? Tang He smiled awkwardly when he thought that Cheng Yun was still a refugee a few days ago. Why don't you join the sect? It saves you registration fees and all of this. Cheng Yun Cough, let's talk about it. Tang He He said, the annual enrollment of the Xianqi sect has already begun. You have become a member of the sect, and the sect will arrange these uniformly. By the way, there's no extra cost. Okay, if you don't come earlier, it will cost her twenty spirit stones in vain. So, are you here? Tang He smiled shyly and tentatively said, I have been joining the sect for a year now, and I don't have my own demon yet. I want to take a closer look at your demon and learn about its habits Ching Yun was puzzled and said, has the sect not imparted any experience to you? Is there no demon to watch? She has heard that the city demon master often releases demons to fight. There are some, but the demons in the sect will only be brought out when we attend the demon control class. We usually have to find the demons ourselves. The demon master does have demons, but nowadays, who would casually give their own demons to outsiders to study. Maybe this demon has been thoroughly studied, and his trump card for survival is gone. Tang He felt a bit guilty, and among the people he knew, only Cheng Yun was still a little white guard against demons. If it's not convenient, then forget it. Cheng Yun's eyes suddenly lit up and he said, Are you saying that you can see many demons in the sex demon control class? This is nature. Tang He ultimately couldn't be seen as a demon. As soon as Lingfu grass appeared, there was no trace of demonic aura throughout the body, and because it had once disguised itself in orchid seeds, it looked very much like orchid grass. Holding it in hand, it's just an ordinary plant of grass. He really likes to pretend, why bother smacking? Tang He. Dot. If you don't show it, then don't show it. It's a bit unreasonable to deceive people. Ching Yun. Dot. Character was questioned for the first time. Xianqi City and Xianqi Gate were actually created by the same person. It is said that many years ago, there was a family of cultivators in Zhongzhou who fought fiercely against their enemies for a demon, and both sides were killed in darkness, with no light in the sun or moon. In the end, the aristocratic family was defeated, and only one young son who was away was able to escape and manage to flee to the frontier of the West Pole. At least it was cultivated by a cultivation family like Zhongzhou, and even at a young age, it is much stronger than the demon masters in this small border area. He concealed his name here, practiced diligently, opened up a city, and founded a sect. After several storms, this sect has achieved its current scale in this western desert. At this moment, Cheng Yun is standing outside the magnificent sand castle of Xianqi Gate. Xianqi Gate recruits students every year, and the scene is quite lively. The exorcist in charge of enrollment visits the streets and houses, holding a registration booklet and posting it on children of appropriate age. You look amazing at your bones, you're a genius for warding off demons. Are you going to worship me as your teacher? Girl, how old is your age? Do you have a marriage? Oh no, did you join a sect? Free to eat and stay, move in with your bag, and enjoy preferential treatment for those with good spiritual roots. These people passed through like locusts, and after one night, the number of children on the street decreased by more than half. At such times, people from affluent families like Tangha have to engage in guerrilla warfare with them. 
Every year is a year when you can avoid Tibet. Why not, I simply don't want to join the sect early. The family has money in one dot on point one tutoring, isn't it popular? As for Cheng Yun, he has no family background, no spiritual stone, and is known as the three no refugees. The sect only has one sentence. Who is that? Be agile in your legs and feet, and don't wait for the passage. Ugly is a bit ugly, fortunately the spiritual roots are good. Whoosh! An arrow hit my heart. I'm a bit old, but I still look clever. Whoosh! The knee is another arrow. After some twists and turns, Ching Yun signed and reported. Received a set of exterior clothing and a storage bag. I officially joined the Xianqi Gate. Seeing Cheng Yun still clinging and not leaving, the sect's senior brother in charge of registration asked, Do you still have any doubts? After joining the sect, is the assessment of the Yuyao Hall free of charge? The senior brother nodded and said, This is natural, all expenses are paid by the sect. Cheng Yun gritted his teeth and said, So. Can we reimburse it? Senior brother. Dot. Is it still possible to process the exit procedures for her now? After a moment, Cheng Yun left the door satisfied. Xianqi sect, what a generous sect it is. Not long after I left, I caught a glimpse of someone from a distance. Their legs were faster than their brains and they turned the alley. Good risk, it's a golden scorch. I finally got rid of her and her good disciple, but I can't be seen by her anymore. Furthermore, I haven't completed the task she assigned yet. Cheng Yun covered his storage bag, feeling guilty. Take a walk and take a look. The clouds in the sky and the cubs on the ground have everything they want. Put your legs away, don't step on my corner. What are you looking at? Can you afford it? Just look. Amidst the hustle and bustle, there was a constant clamor for sales. Qing Yun turned into Renbeifang City in Xianqi City. Renbeifang City is the busiest part of the city, selling a wide variety of treasures, mostly from the West Pole. Qing Yun has not come yet. She used to be very fond of shopping. Now, poverty has restricted her entry and exit. She took a closer look and found that the stalls were mostly filled with animal meat, bones, elixirs, fur, and other common types of monsters found in the desert. Because it is common, the treatment is rough, with a taste of saliva, blood, and feces, which can directly affect the body. Qing Yun retreated to the side to breathe air. Legs, take it back. This statement is familiar to Qing Yun, who is already able to react reflexively. Guazi. Looking down, TSK TSK, the vendor had thick eyebrows and big eyes, and Zhou Jingjuan's face was full of energy. Uncle. The melon seeds are there. The vendor pointed to a corner of the stall. Ching Yun looked over. Bone decoration. Ornaments made of animal bones are smooth and round, with many patterns carved, such as melon seeds, nuts, flowers, etc. They are small and exquisite. I can't tell that this uncle has a bit of a girlish heart. In theory, this kind of bone decoration is exquisite and cute, and is very popular among nuns, but his stall is cold and deserted, with no one visiting. The vendor didn't care and sat upright on the side, holding a carving knife in his hand, carving on a beast bone. Hands rise and knives fall, bone fragments fly. What a skilled knife worker! Suddenly, the vendor's hand sank and the carving knife made a big cut on the animal's bone. He seemed somewhat dissatisfied, and with a wave of his hand, the beast bone was also thrown aside. At this moment, Ching Yun took two steps back and unconsciously kicked his leg. The vendor paused and looked up at her. Buy or not? Ah, no way. Ching Yun is not interested in bone decorations. They look good, but he thinks they are somewhat inappropriate. So he lifted his leg and walked away. The vendor stared at her back for a long time before lightly patting the area above her arm. Be good. 
The vendors around me don't mind if they see anything strange, this person is accustomed to talking to themselves. It wasn't until he left the city gate and returned to the ruins that Ching Yun put away the nonchalance on his face. She just saw the horned beast. When the animal bones fell, they would suddenly be seen, but when they rolled off, they scraped against her hem and didn't fall to the ground. She took a glance. It looks like a pump, like a rhinoceros, like a unicorn, the size of a palm, and is a pocket-sized version that appears in the standing moon pond. Ugly and cute, a bit cute. The small claws are also sharp and exceptionally sharp. She was kicked away with just one kick. Cough, clothes are quite expensive these days. This is not the point, the point is that this horned beast is very eerie. The Tianchu 10,000 Demons Collection records many hidden forms of demons, such as the transformation of mountain spirits and ghosts, and the ability of Lingfu grass to conceal qi, which is also considered a type. The horned beast absorbs the spiritual energy of the temple and is born. It can travel 18,000 miles a day and has a positive nature. It does not have the ability to conceal its body shape, nor does it like to hide. It is said that a demon master slapped an invisibility talisman on it, and it can tear you apart in minutes. Just now, the demonic aura was completely gone, and she could still hide her body shape. If it weren't for her use of Lingfu grass, she wouldn't have been able to see it at all. Don't be fooled by its small size, it's not simple. Its owner, the vendor, is not simple either. Just as I was thinking about it, a simple vendor suddenly appeared. Ching Yun blinked and met his four eyes. A sentence floating in the air. Don't talk to strangers. The vendor was blocking her way back, ten steps away from her. Ching Yun kept walking under his feet and turned around. The next moment, the vendor appeared again in front of me. Can't this be a coincidence? So, do I owe you money? The vendor shook his head. Ching Yun breathed a sigh of relief. As long as there was no debt, everything was easy to say. You have a smell on you, said the vendor. Puff. Uncle, are you polite? Ching Yun. I feel the deep malice in this world this weekend, it's suitable to add a change asterisk book friends, the recommendation ticket has been smashed. Strive to code words. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. True Fragrance. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 True Fragrance Isn't she just a few days without washing her hair and half a month without taking a shower? In the desert, water resources are scarce, and refugees are not so particular. Many refugees haven't taken a shower in over a decade. Ching Yun's face was unpredictable, but his face was black and the vendor across from him couldn't tell. He said again, there's her scent. Ching Yun. Dot. Uncle, can you speak without gasping for breath? Ching Yun didn't take over and was thinking about who he meant by her. I looked up and down at the vendor again. Are you, my long lost father? I successfully saw a slight crack on the handsome face of the vendor. Ching Yun was satisfied. I think you found the wrong person. I'm a disciple of the immortal Qi sect and an orphan. No, I won't admit the smell of sunny days. Sunny. Su Ching Tian. Dot. Boom. What a bolt from the blue. Ching Yun suddenly brainstormed. As a loyal listener, Ching Yun summarized as follows. In the story of Su Ching's rebellion, it is ultimately that great demon. Jin Zhua angrily cursed Su Ching Tian, leaving aside the unpleasant words, and the rest of the sentences were clear and reasonable. Not listening to the old man will bring losses before our eyes. It's hard not to think that Su Ching Tian is the one who has been abandoned, as she is now. Plus that child. The big demon bears the four big characters, abandon his wife and children, on his body. The uncle in front of me has a handsome appearance. TSK TSK, the big demon that Su Ching Tian mentioned is not just a good appearance, otherwise how could she fall in love at first sight? Goodbye and fall in love. 
In a moment of wild imagination, Cheng Yun shook his head. Uncle, you got it wrong. I don't know any sunny days. Cheng Yun denied the three companies. Before the vendor spoke, Cheng Yun added another sentence. I was doing odd jobs in the sandbox a while ago, and these people come and go. Maybe you mentioned that sunny days have come, Cheng Yun said, pointing in the direction of the sandbox. The vendor looked over and then turned to look at Cheng Yun. He shook his head. No, sunny days won't leave any scent casually. Good guy, Su Qing is really a good guy. Cheng Yun gritted his teeth and showed a twisted smile. Uncle, please come to your side. Cheng Yun naturally did not return to the sand pit, but went to the sand castle. The sandbox is empty, and the restrictions inside have no restrictions on her. Wait until you see the vendor swaggering and walking in. Cheng Yun's thought of running away came to a halt. This prohibition makes it impossible for ordinary people to enter. She didn't dare to use Lingfu grass in front of the vendor anymore, and honestly told her about meeting Su Qing Tian a while ago. Of course, only the first half was mentioned. What do you mean, she followed a female demon master into the city? Yes, yes, many people have seen it. That's her master. Ah. Anyway, everyone respects her as the golden immortal. That child. At first there was, but later there wasn't. Ching Yun straightened his posture and said something. The vendor met her with four eyes. Ching Yun opened his eyes wide, trying to show him the honesty in his eyes. Fortunately, the vendor didn't ask much and after saying a few words, he threw down a storage bag. Thank you very much. He hurriedly disappeared like when he came. It's a close call, is this just a trick? Sandpit, Cheng Yunwan sat in front of the storage bag left by the vendor. Just now, she opened it and looked at it. It can be described as a sea of corpses and blood. A pile of monster corpses, some fresh and bloody. Some people have noticed that their fur has lost its luster over the years. A small portion are varieties from the desert, while others may have limited knowledge and have never seen them before. But for sure, those are not specialties of the West Pole. Besides, the vendor is also a bone dismantling expert, and none of the bones are left on these corpses. This bone breaking technique would be a pity if I didn't apply for a job at a liquor store. This uncle, the way he rewards people, really has his personality. More like the big demon in Su Qingtian's mouth. Tuanqing. As for his true identity, Duan. Isn't it a horned beast? Qing Yun felt that she had the truth. If that's the case, then Qing Yun feels that his little life is not a worry. Jiao Duan is naturally upright and won't hurt anyone casually. Even if you become a big demon, you can't lose your true nature. So, Ma Lu put away the storage bag and put this matter aside. The important thing now is that she needs to pass the assessment and be officially employed. Buried in the sand pit and studied hard for a long time, not waiting for the arrival of the old ghost, but waiting for the day of assessment. Early in the morning, Ching Yun went to the Yuyao Hall to report. Our goal today is. No retakes. Our slogan today is. My fate is determined by me, not by heaven. I am born to be useful. I am not careless when people are easy, and I am not afraid of difficulties when people are difficult. Well, no slogan is repetitive. The Yuyao Hall has no skills in motivating people, it's all about emotions. Ching Yun. Someone in the crowd called out to her. It's Lin Jiaoluo. Brother Lin, are you also there? Ching Yun looked in the direction behind him. There are all a bunch of little radish heads there. You call me senior brother. Oh, you joined the sect. Lin Jialua just saw that she was wearing the same attire as her fellow disciples from the immortal Qi sect. Ching Yun nodded. What are you still standing here for? Hurry up and get back in line. Our Xianqi gate will have priority assessment later. Ching Yun followed Lin Jialua back to the sect team. 
I'm leading the team today, don't worry, this assessment is simple, Lin Jialua said. Huh, because every time we take the exam, you always become the leader of the team, laughed another sect senior brother. Lin Jialua. Dot. Being mercilessly exposed by someone, a hint of embarrassment flashed on my face. Fortunately, the assessment of the Yuyao Hall is about to begin. A group of people were led into an open.air sand castle. As the name suggests, the open.air sand castle has a dome that disappears without a trace, leaving only a circle of walls. As soon as everyone stepped in, there was a mournful sound. Without the dome, the scorching sun shone directly on my head. In just a few moments, some people feel smoke coming from their heads. The Imperial Demon Hall says this is called, painstakingly exhausting one's heart and mind, exhausting one's bones and muscles. Ah bah, who wouldn't know they're being stingy? Lin Jialua was indignant and took out a blue and white umbrella. After some thought, he took out another one. Do you want an umbrella? Thirty spirit stones are sold to you at a low price. As he turned around, the person in front of him was fully armed, wrapped in burlap from head to toe, with only one eye visible. The image of refugees is deeply ingrained in people's hearts. Ching Yun refers to the large characters on one side of the wall of the sandbox. Refuse all use of spiritual items, violators will be disqualified from this session. Lin Jialuo. Dot. I'll go. I didn't have this rule last time I came. If he goes out, he will complain. The Imperial Demon Hall changes its orders day and night, and does not emphasize martial arts ethics. As everyone sat down, a blank scroll appeared on the table out of thin air. Looking up again, facing the direction of the sun, a string of small golden characters shimmered and shimmered. This is the exam question. After only two glances, Chen Yun felt that his eyes were about to burn blind. The first question is really simple, and anyone who has read a book has nothing that cannot be written. However, the method of tormenting people by the Yuyao Hall is also very famous. Afraid of rushing to increase difficulty and increase the retake rate. Thinking of the passionate banners and slogans outside. This Yuyao Hall is really quite famous. Cheng Yun raised his eyebrows slightly, took out a long leaf from his arms, tied it to his head, and it happened to cover his eyes. Looking up into the air again. A clear and bright sky. At present, I write with great speed, and my writing is as if it were divine. Lin Jialua, who was sitting next to him, was amazed when he saw it. What kind of treasure, give me one too. Cheng Yun didn't lift his head and said, Thirty spirit stones. Lin Jialua. Can you exchange an umbrella? Taking the long green leaves, Lin Jialua flipped left and right. A single orchid leaf is nothing but ordinary. Lin Jialua. Forward slash underscore, the big grudge is against me. You insist on giving me a leaf even though you can grab an umbrella. Wait for him to put it on. Oh, it smells so good. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Sandstorms. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Sandstorms After the assessment, the results came out on the spot. Ching Yun did everything right without any omissions. She didn't have much to do, and Lin Jialua beside her was so happy that he couldn't find the north. Thanks to her good baby, I exclaimed directly. Since he started, he has come here several times, exhausted from shouting slogans, and has been defeated time and time again by the tricks created by the Imperial Demon Hall. I ha ha ha. Schwa schwa schwa. The heads of the group of failed candidates lifted up. Good guy, they're hurting spring and morning autumn. Are you holding on to this joyous occasion? Is this suitable? I'm sorry for my mentality if I don't mess with you. Report to the immortal, they cheat. The invigilator in charge of invigilation stared at the words with copper bell eyes. Who dares? Use spiritual tools. I saw it with my own eyes. The evidence is still in their hands. The world is going downhill, 
and people's hearts are not ancient. Those who fall behind in groups of three or two, one by one. Lin Jialua felt a thump in his heart and quickly collected the orchid leaves, giving Cheng Yun a guilty glance. Junior sister, I'm sorry. Cheng Yun generously took out the orchid leaves, wrapped them around his wrist in front of the crowd, and waved at them. I have something else to do, I apologize for not accompanying you. Watching her leave the door without looking back, the people around her were foolish at the time. The demon master didn't get angry and said, it's all gone. But they. Do you know what my demon is? Who dares to cheat under the one thousand and one pairs of eyes of the immortal in this book? This demon master is an old invigilator at the beast hall. With the help of a thousand-eyed demon, it swept the examination room for hundreds of years, repeatedly rubbing the cheating candidates on the ground. Is it a spiritual artifact that he can't see? Lin Jialuodun was overjoyed and waved the leaves in his hand. The starting price for the auction is thirty spirit stones. Eating mantu is tasteless. If you swallow a bottle of water, your stomach will be full. If she continues to eat like this, she will lose her attachment to this world. A note was passed, and with a swoosh, it penetrated into the wooden board. Falling to the ground, a sound came. Junior Sister Cheng, where are you? Senior brother has a business to talk to you about. It's Lin Jialua's voice. Pop pop. The roots of Lingfu grass were slapped in the sand pit, leaving marks of varying depths. Ching Yun pinched the transmission note and tore it apart in front of Lingfu grass. Don't worry, it's not easy to raise you. How could I have pulled you bald? Lay down the roots of Lingfu grass and calm down. Ching Yun gently stroked its leaves, time and time again. Even if you want to pull it up, you still have to wait for you to grow more lush. Underscore. Angle, underscore don't worry Ling Fukeo suddenly shuddered. It was night, with a roar that echoed from the sky to the earth. Ching Yun woke up in shock. Did it thunder? Is it raining? She lifted the top wooden board upwards without moving, as if it weighed a thousand pounds. Looking through the cracks in the wooden board, the thick darkness covered the usual starry sky. The nearby city gate is tightly closed, and a protective formation is opened outside the city. The almost transparent cover covers the entire city of Xinchi. The thunder flickered in the sky, as if giant claws were coming one by one, shocking and heart-wrenching. The western polar landforms become increasingly arid as they move westward, and the scope of the desert gradually increases. Thunder and rain are rare. Originally, rain was a good thing, but the rain here is accompanied by great danger. Firstly, there is a massive sandstorm. The strong wind outside carried debris and collided everywhere. Countless refugees screamed, cried, and sobbed incessantly. In a few breaths, the thunder faded away and darkness completely enveloped the ruins. The only thing that lit up the light was the huge, immortal Qi city, on the nearby city gate. It seemed like a guiding light, illuminating the hope of the refugees, and many refugees rushed to the city gates. Open the door, help us. Help. The welfare of the immortal city has not come. No matter how these refugees seek help, the city gate remains tightly closed and motionless. In Cheng Yun's memory, such sandstorms have occurred twice, without exception, with refugees in the ruins suffering heavy casualties. Lingfu grass was a bit restless and turned into a green bracelet, wrapped around Ching Yun's wrist. The sand pit vibrated violently, and countless sand cubes shook off. Life is a bed, death is a hole. The only benefit of sand pits for refugees is that they are not allowed to expose their bodies in the wilderness. Ching Yun felt tightness in his chest and difficulty breathing. The sand in the sand pit has reached my chest. She regretted leaving her token in the ruins for Jin Zhuo. At least I joined the sect, all of whom are from the same sect. Why bother classmates? Amidst the raging sandstorm, a faint roar could be heard. Ching Yun's scalp is tingling, he is a sand monster. 
Although the western polar desert is harsh, there are many monsters living there. Some have a huge physique and enjoy traveling alone, some form groups, as small as insects and ants. Sand demon beasts are companions of sandstorms, they are inherently ferocious and devour all living creatures. Roar, a roar is within reach. Ching Yun immediately leaned into the gap on the left side of the wooden board. The green light in my eyes flashed away. Immediately followed by a crimson hue in my eyes. What is this? Ching Yun gazed intently, and the crimson outside suddenly surged violently. Boom! The red is cracking. Countless blood splattered and poured over with a crash. The gaps in the wooden boards were covered in bright red. Ching Yun was tactical and tilted back due to the strong odor. Through the gap on the right side of the wooden board, she finally saw clearly that there was a huge sand monster blocking in front of the board. The blood red on it just now is its big tongue. The sand monster eats pain and crazily steps on the wooden board. Earth shaking. The wooden board snapped and shattered into slag. The sand from the outside poured in, and the sand pit was completely filled. I haven't seen the culprit behind its broken tongue. This sand monster is going crazy with anger. He plunged into the location of the sand pit and disappeared without a trace. The sand monster is fierce, but it is a simple and silly creature. Once you identify a direction, keep moving forward, even if that direction is wrong from the beginning. Ching Yun stands on the sandy ground, with his roots rooted underground. That's right, she merged with Lingfu grass again. Becoming a grass demon. How strong is the wind force of a sandstorm? She was so big that as soon as she crawled out of the sand, she almost got torn apart. The gravel in a sandstorm, when flying at high speed, is like a sharp blade. Under countless cuts, most people cannot withstand it. Not to mention ordinary people, let's just talk about the city's demon warden. Without a golden pill or above, they dare not venture into the eye of the storm alone. But Cheng Yun stood up for it. Whether or not to say, this demon body is indeed a bit strong. If it weren't for the hatred towards demons in this world, it would be good to be a free-spirited demon. She rooted herself in the ruins and walked forward. The demon body has no eyes, and it can be said that her whole body is covered in eyes. She can understand everything around her through perception. Whoosh, something flew over the sky. Ching Yun casually rolled a scroll. He is a refugee. The refugee's body was covered in blood and flesh, with more breath coming out and less breath coming in. It was easy to catch my breath and see that I was caught by a grass demon. Flipping his eyes, he completely fainted. Well, if she dies, she won't be responsible. Ching Yun rolled up the scroll, making the refugee scroll even tighter, revealing only a slight leak. Walk and stop, flip and search. All the way to the city gate. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Snow Wolf You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Snow Wolf The few large characters on the city gate shimmered and flickered. Around the city, refugees took every opportunity to hide in the halo at the edge of the protective formation, surviving the disaster. Not sleeping at night is torture. Shu shu shu. A dozen refugees were wrapped like Zongzi, one after another. Leaving winding marks in the sand. Ching Yun is like a boatman, she's going to be exhausted. The eerie dragging sound came from far to near, occasionally accompanied by a few vague groans. The refugees outside the city are going to be scared to death. They stared at the direction of the sandstorm, the wind and sand filled the sky, unable to see anything, until a tall black figure emerged from inside. A grass that is two people tall. The design is unique, with only one blade left in front, as if beckoning them. The rest extends all the way to the ground, curling up at the end of the leaves, bulging into a bundle. Grass, green to shine. Monster. A demon is coming. The refugees were so scared that they screamed and wished to find a place to hide. 
Chen Yun ignored them and rolled up the leaves, throwing them vigorously. Whoosh whoosh. More than a dozen refugees fell from the sky, accurately throwing them under the city gate, barely rolling into the halo of the protective array. Oh yeah, perfect for accuracy. As for those who fainted and were knocked awake, those who were awake were scared out. This is not something that Cheng Yun can control. Is there still room for improvement in the intensity? Cheng Yun stood at the city gate without any unnecessary movements. The green leaves sway in the wind, like a seaweed. A group of refugees are as quiet as chickens, holding their breath and not daring to move. Immortal. Kai. City. Flashed by these three big characters. This city, I'm not sure about anything else, it lacks humanistic spirit. So many refugees, aren't they just ants? Just watch them rise and fall on their own. There are so many high dot level demon guards in the city, just one protective array and spiritual weapon is enough for the refugees to survive. She lived in the ruins for a period of time, and it was clear to her that the greatest pursuit of refugees every day was simply to be alive. Is it difficult to live? Difficult. This world seems to be like this, where the fittest survive. Why should the demon master help them, not relatives or relatives? The refugees did not let their guard down because the grass demon in front of them remained motionless. This grass demon may be holding back some big moves. Seeing its slender leaves all standing upright towards the sky. They are even more afraid. The grass demon has moved. They are going to scare and pee. Hey! The grass demon's head did not turn back and burrowed into the sandstorm. A little girl timidly said, it seems to have no malice. Damn it! The demon is the demon, the demon is born evil. Don't forget, dead girl, this sandstorm is brought by the demon. The middle dot aged man became irritable. The voice of demons born to be evil quickly overshadowed everything. The refugees cursed at the top of their lungs. It is all demons who bring disasters, take away lives, and make them struggle in endless pain. Ching Yun avoided the sand monster and picked up several refugees who were unaware of their life or death. She was born in a peaceful era and cannot be so indifferent as to watch the passing of life. She doesn't want to be a hero, she's just doing something within her capabilities. Wei Xin and her. As for those things that save the world, let the real heroes do them. For example, the young man in front of me is fighting against a sand monster. Young man with black hair and snow clothes, holding a long sword in hand. With a sharp body and a sword, the sand demon beast was swiftly scattered into sand. However, the reason why sand demon beasts are called sand demon beasts is that except for a demon pill and a big tongue, the rest of their bodies are all sand. Sand can disperse or gather. Gathering and dispersing time and time again, and killing time and time again. Ching Yun was full of enthusiasm from the beginning, looking tired, and his eyes gradually turned towards the autumn knife fish. The young man still handled it with ease, seemingly not doing his best. Ching Yun was secretly anxious in the dark. Brother, hurry up. Blocking my way back to the city. Seemingly sensing Ching Yun's voice, the young man suddenly turned around and pointed his sword to one side. By G. It's there. With a cold drink from him, a white shadow fell from the sky. Come straight ahead. Coming straight ahead. Oh no, it was discovered. Ching Yun ran straight away. I dare say that this young man has some spare strength. He discovered her early and was afraid that she would launch a surprise attack in the dark, competing with a snipe and clam for the benefit of a fisherman. The roots were shaken to the extreme, and Cheng Yun's speed was astonishing. Behind her, the white shadow was getting closer and closer. TSK. That is a snow dot white snow wolf, with an agile posture, well dot developed limbs, and a prominent tuft of silver gray hair on its head. The snow wolf demon, the legendary lord of the ice field. For the snow wolf demon, the hot desert is an unprecedented test of its body and habits. 
but its speed is much faster than Ching Yun's. Almost in the blink of an eye, he threw Ching Yun to the ground. Ching Yun vomited blood, brother. You got the wrong partner. The boy over there has already dealt with the sand demon beast with one sword and is rushing after it. When he saw what was beneath the snow wolf demon, his face suddenly turned red. By G, come back. Come back. The boy's voice drifted. Whispering. The sound of sobs came from under the snow wolf demon's claws, and it lifted its paws, looking bewildered. Her figure is slender, her clothes are broken, and the skin on her shoulders is barely visible. People. Hey. What about the grass it caught? The snow wolf demon, not believing in evil, pulled the person down. Facing a pair of stunned eyes, the snow wolf demon was stunned. Ching Yun was also stunned. Why do you still bring flipped noodles? I just received it urgently. Her clothes are not neatly dressed yet. After tidying up, Ching Yun finally wrapped himself tightly. The snow wolf demon is not interested in the skinny and dark person below. With a growl, he left her and ran back. Who are you? The boy walked up to her. Just as Ching Yun was about to speak, there was a surge in his body, and he spat out a mouthful of blood. With a flip of the eye and a tilt of the head, I fainted. Youth. Dot. Turn around and look at the wolf. The snow wolf demon raised its paw and said, Dot. It's not a wolf, a wolf doesn't. The raging sandstorm has long ceased, and the sky is incredibly clear, with some luxurious blue. The peaceful ruins make people feel like everything from last night was just a dream. However, there was devastation everywhere. The residential areas that originally preserved the shape of the house were all blown off by the wind, and all the paths were flattened. Someone once asked, how come there are so many refugees in the ruins, and no one has started building houses and rebuilding their homes. How could it not be? It's just that every sandstorm, the ruins will recover to their worst condition. At the city gate, a few refugees were numb and dazed, surrounded by several mutilated corpses, the victims who died without closing their eyes. Wind, hot and dry. There is a strong smell of blood floating in the air. It's nauseating. Two or three refugees were rummaging around. No howls, no cries. They mechanically searched for nearby survivors, and the faces of those who were found showed no signs of relief, only numbness and stillness. Vultures can be seen everywhere on the road, and they are more eager than anyone to search for the victims. When Ching Yun woke up, there was a vulture beside him. Before she could react, a snow dot white paw patted it. The body of the vulture sank into the sand, leaving only two feet outside and twitching. In front of Cheng Yun's gaze, the snow wolf demon silently withdrew its claws. E, it's not a wolf, a wolf doesn't. Cheng Yun said, I've seen all the samples. Watched by Cheng Yun, the snow wolf demon flashed and saw Yazi ran away. This is a dilapidated house in the ruins, with only half of the roof, casting a shadow that happens to cover her alone. As for the other side, a young man sat cross-legged in the sand with his eyes closed. The sun was scorching, and there was no sweat on his forehead. Up and down, exuding an unrealistic dryness. The young man had a jade crown on his face and was exceptionally handsome. After looking at him for a while, Ching Yun felt as if all the heat and dryness on his body had dissipated. Perhaps her gaze was too hot, and the boy opened his eyes. His eyes were clear, black and white were distinct. Okay, my first impression was really good. Of course, this was her response to the youth, but the youth frowned and looked wary at her. Their eyes were facing each other, and no one spoke, creating an awkward atmosphere. There is a saying that as long as I am not embarrassed, it is others who are embarrassed. In the end, the young man spoke first and said, Are you the demon master? Ching Yun gave a perfectly fitting smile. Isn't my temperament obvious to me? Elegant, the boy instinctively glanced at her. 
dressed in rags, with a disheveled figure, and disheveled hair as messy as a chicken coop. This temperament is too obvious. System Research Ching Yun Little brother, come to the bowl quickly youth. Terrifying snow wolf demon. Wolves know nothing. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Wen Lu. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Wen Lu the boy doesn't want to dwell on the issue of temperament anymore, so he digs off the topic. So, was it your demon that I saw last night? Coming, the boy indeed saw her demonic body. Ching Yun nodded and said, I said I am the demon master. Your demon, why is it so? Special. The young man felt strange, but for a moment he didn't know how to describe it. Although he didn't see it too clearly at the time, the demon gave him an unprecedented feeling, even the snow wolf demon trembled all over and hid out of place. Ah, is it true that she can merge with the demon? Is she a pervert? On this issue, Ching Yun himself cannot figure out the cause and effect, how can he say? I'm afraid I'll be pulled to do the Tian Chu experiment if I say it out loud. She has already decided on the theme of the experiment, which is called analyzing the secrets that people and demons must say. To avoid him getting tangled up on this issue, she must take a preemptive approach. Commonly known, the wicked report first. I just gave you one more glance in the dark, and you ordered that snow wolf demon to bully me. Humiliate me. Slash me. Ching Yun followed the style of the white lotus in his impression and cried like a pear blossom with rain, heartbroken. However, she overlooked one point. The style of the white lotus requires a pitiful white lotus face first. She can't say it's charcoal now. As a result, the boy across from him felt somewhat uncomfortable. However, at least the other party is a girl, it is normal to be gentle and delicate. The young man thought so and stood up, arched his hand. Since there was a misunderstanding, I apologize for Bai Ji Xiang. Ching Yun, Ching Yun said. Apologize to Fairy Cheng and hope she doesn't mind. TSK TSK, this demeanor is humble and polite. Little brother has a great family education. Add one more point. Ching Yun put away his whimpering and bowed solemnly, reciprocity, what's your name? Wen Lu. Surname Wen. She remembers the aristocratic chapter of Tian Chu Ji, which is said to be the surname of Bei Yuan. The snow wolf demon often appears in the snowy area outside the North Abyss Polar City, which is rare and noble. It is the first choice in the hearts of the North Abyss Demon Master and cannot be obtained by a wealthy family. And in Beiyuan Polar City, there happened to be a famous scholar named Tian Chu. This little brother has a big background. Ching Yun was skeptical that even newcomers like her could guess his identity, making it easier for others. Have you never been robbed before? Upon hearing that Lu was slightly stunned, he shook his head and said, Never. He said no, it's really not yet. Last month, he was entrusted by someone to just sit on a teleportation array and come from Beiyuan. There is no direct teleportation array from Beiyuan Polar City to Shiji. It only took him a few teleportation points, and it took him a month. Just as I wandered outside Xianchi City, I encountered a big sandstorm. So, the first person you met from the West Pole was me. Cheng Yun blinked. Fate, brother. Upon hearing Lu Lulu ponder, apart from a few guards of the teleportation array, Ching Yun was indeed the first one. A human. Meeting is not only fate, but you also saved my life. I should be the host and fulfill my landlord's friendship. Ching Yun fully showcased the enthusiasm of the people of Shiji and secretly counted the spirit stones in the storage bags. Mantu and water are good for everyone. Upon hearing that Lu Chu had just arrived, there was another girl with strange behavior across from him. I still have something important to do, but since. That's too bad. If you need it, feel free to come to me. Ching Yun waved his hand and turned around to leave. Wen Lu. Dot. Has this attitude changed too quickly? 
do you people from the West not want to be polite? Sandcastle, an old man sat alone at the door, quietly looking towards the direction of the city gate. Chen Yun followed his gaze and saw that the gate of the Xianqi gate was wide open, with no difference except for the guard standing as usual. Old man, I'll help you over. Ching Yun helped the old man up. The old man's leg was injured, but he smiled nonchalantly on his face. Don't worry, there are enough spiritual pills in the sandbox today. Ling Dan. The old man said, as usual, after a sandstorm, people in the city will be sent to distribute spiritual pills to the injured. Not to mention, these spiritual pills have excellent medicinal effects. As long as they are not killed on the spot, it is difficult to die after eating them. As he spoke, he sneered again, the cat cried and the mouse pretended to be merciful. Ching Yun can understand the old man's feelings. If he really has the heart to help, why not before the sandstorm, but after they have experienced it time and time again? Ching Yun was also puzzled. Why does Xianqi City treat these refugees with this attitude, just because they are poor and destitute? Old man, how many times have you avoided a sandstorm? The old man reached out his hand and counted his missing fingers. Ten times, twenty times. I'm getting old and can't remember clearly. We've been kicked out of the city for twelve years. The old man stopped and pointed to the position above the city gate, saying, I will always remember that day. There was a corpse hanging on the city gate, which was the head of our Hanya clan. The body was hung for three days and three nights until his flesh and blood were eaten clean by the vultures. His bones were smashed and shattered, and it was thrown into this ruins. The people are all crying, but no one can help. Perhaps it was the chieftain's resentment, and since then, sandstorms have begun to devour the lives in the ruins Ching Yun was not aware of this matter. The original owner arrived at the ruins three years ago, only knowing that over the years, many people who had been driven out of the city had gradually increased in the ruins. The ruins are becoming increasingly chaotic. Ching Yun wanted to ask further, but the old man refused to say more. Within the sandbox, Tang He, Lin Jiaoyuo, and Chiofen continue to distribute food and water as usual. In addition, there are several demon guards and spiritual cultivators inside the sand castle. They are treating refugees. It can be seen that this was spontaneous by some forces within the city, as she did not see any familiar faces in the inner city. However, it's better to have something than nothing. At such times, Ching Yun didn't care about anything else and joined them to help bandage the refugees. Pop. The sound of slapping echoed inside the sandbox. Jin Zhu's anger was uncontrollable. It's you. It's you who brought in the sand monster, brought in this sandstorm. Su Qingtian's face was swollen and gloomy. How did the sandstorm come? Others don't know, don't you know, master? Jin Zhuo's words were blocked, and the image of the past immediately came to mind, his face suddenly turning pale. Are you saying, that mutated sand monster? Those scenes not only scared Su Qingtian when he remembered them, but also made Jin Zhuo's hair stand on end. She doesn't want to bring up the past, let alone associate it with her. Su Qing Tian said slowly, Master, the lord of the city has ordered that you cannot leave the city. Even if master has the intention to kill demons, he cannot disobey. It's okay not to mention it, but it's even more infuriating to mention it. Last night, she learned of a sandstorm and expected the sand monster to take action. She could have been executed one by one, but she couldn't leave the city gate because of this order. She held her breath all night, and when dawn broke, she came to Su Qing Tian to vent her anger. Su Qing Tian was well aware of the master's deep dot seated hatred towards the demon. Seeing her feeling depressed about this matter, a hint of pleasure rose in her heart for some unknown reason. She has a slight sign. Is it true? as the outside world says, that she has long harbored resentment towards her master. No, Duanqing has said that she is the kindest person in the world. She respects her teacher and values the Tao, and would never have such thoughts. Her tone became respectful. 
Master, the sandstorm has passed, and even if you are upset, it will be of no use. Why don't you instruct a few disciples of the Spirit Planting Hall to go outside the city and see if there is anything they can help with? You don't need to say much about this matter. I will arrange it myself as a teacher. Su Qing's eyes flickered with hope, Master, is Ayun okay? That little refugee. I heard that she lives in ruins, and I don't know what happened to her during last night's sandstorm. Master, I haven't seen her for a long time and I'm really worried. I hope Master can be accommodating and let's meet again. Ching Yun. I am really Omega, Bolt Q Ching Yun. I am really Omega, Bolt Q, leave a recommendation ticket for those who pass by. Monthly tickets are also acceptable, uh. Thank you. End of this chapter.